Hey guys, how you doing? So the last time when I uploaded the video about PC game fixes, many of you guys asked me about micro stuttering, FPS lags in game. So today I would like to show you guys the best fixes you can do to stop your games from stuttering and improve your FPS and make your games more stable. So let's jump back to the fix number one. So first fix is gonna be with your page file. So page file is like a RAM a virtual RAM that works as a loading assets, loading game files and textures into it when you don't have enough RAM. So optimizing a page file in a certain way can really help your stuttering and like millisecond stutters and FPS drops in games in general. It's the best fix you can do to random frame stuttering and frame drops. First you open your PC, then press right, go to properties, open advanced system settings, go to advanced tab and in the performance menu go to settings and in the settings window go to advanced tab and there you can see uh, virtual memory and in there usually there will show uh, some random number here with your automatic settings that window set for you then press the change and here you will see your drives and where your page file is settings like automatically so untick the automatically uh, setting and there you can see where your page file is sitting in my case it's in c drive and it's system managed size so usually this is how you're gonna see your settings so to set it manually you have to press custom size in here you can see initial size and maximum size so best value is to put in here to eliminate the fps lag and fps drops and ram bottleneck is to determine what's your ram capacity and set it as like i do to put the best custom file size to your page file is to put your ram size into megabytes so it's only putting the megabyte sizes on these fields so you have to take exact number of your megabytes of your ram and multiply it by two if you have 4 gb ram you have to put it to megabytes and multiply by it too so open your calculator so if you have 4 gb ram that means 4 gb means 4 and to put it to megabytes you have to multiply by its 1024 so it's like 1024 megabytes is equal to 1 gb you guys know that multiply it by 1024 it means 4096 and multiply it by 2 8192 so that's the size you put in here this field and this field so if you have a uh, 8 gb ram 8 multiply it by 1024 8192 and multiply it by 2 it means 16384 so that's the number you're gonna put in this field like 16384 and 16384 so, so that's the number you're gonna put in here if you have 8 gb ram if you have 4 gb ram you put 8192 like we calculated before if you have SSD in your system, choose it from this menu and set your page file in the SSD. So the more the system run into your SSD rather than HDD, the faster the processing type. So SSD is always faster than HDD. So you always put your page file on a SSD if you got one. If you don't have SSD, it's all right. You can use an HDD normal hard drive. But if you have SSD, prioritize your SSD to put your page file on the SSD. In my case, it's C drive, my SSD. So I set it and OK and OK and restart your PC. Uh, after the restart, you can go to your C drive and go to view, hidden items, and there you will see your page file in your drive where you set up. In my case, it's C drive. So in there, you can see your page file with the exact number you put on the settings menu. So if you see this file here with the correct number, that means you've done the page file settings correctly. I guarantee that this will fix your random FES stutters and random RAM bottlenecks that causes your FPS to go stutter in like milliseconds or FPS drops in general. And for the second method to reduce your lag and FPS stutters in games, press right on your desktop, go to display settings and scroll down to graphic settings 
click on it and there you can see a hardware accelerated gpu scheduling option it usually is turned off by default so you have to turn it on and restart your pc to apply the changes so this option does is that when your cpu is struggling with the frames and high intensity workflow the gpu is helping it to ease the workload and like helping the cpu to process the everything happening in your game and make the frames more stable without letting cpu bottleneck usually the most common thing to games to get stuck or let the fps drop and have random stutters is the cpu bottleneck like usually our gpu is kind of doing okay most of the time but the cpu is kind of get uh, like stangled with the system processors and other background running applications and in the game so usually this helps to reduce the cpu bottleneck like immensely so restart your pc and apply this change also so the next fix is gonna be disabling your game dvr type registry editor go into registry editor yes and go to hk current user and in there go to system and click on the game config store there you will see a file named game dvr enabled double click on that for me it's already off because it's zero you guys will see a one on here so delete the one on here and put zero on this field and press ok this is going to disable your game dvr game dvr is like windows inbuilt game recording system that's usually running underneath your game all the time in the background and will cause fps drops and fps stuttering so disable it then you go back into your registry editor again expand hk local machine expand software go down and expand microsoft and go down to policy manager expand it then expand default and go down all the way to application management and expand it and go down into game dvr just click on game dvr and there you will see a file name value double click on it and there you will see a one on your case in your pc you will see one as value data is one erase it and put zero and press ok yeah close the registry editor and restart your pc so next thing you can do is set off your high precision event timer so to it go to your device manager and go to system devices and right down here you can see high precision event timer you click right on it and disable the device and do restart the high precision event timer does is like mess up your timing of your hardware and it can make the game stutter like crazy in some systems you can see in this chart like so much of a different it can make on game so always make it off and restart so other huge thing you guys never notice is startup apps startup apps like ruining your performance in games without you even noticing what's got installed into you while you're downloading stuff and everything and they automatically start up when you start your pc so to disable startup apps like easily go to task manager go to startup here you will see so much of list of things that you don't want to get started while you are starting your pc or playing any games so disable everything that you don't want uh, to start up when you are turning on the pc so it will hugely improve your loading times and fps so next easy thing you can do to reduce your fps lag and stutter usually the cpu bottleneck disable your background apps open your background apps and turn it off none of this like usually gonna help you with anything just turn it off and try the fps increase like crazy so those are the best fixes that you can do to improve your fps and stop your fps stutterings and fps drops and to make your gameplay so smooth so comment down below what else you guys want to know and what else games you want to see on this channel and to see any fixes to games and stuff and comment down below anything you want to know about video gaming and pc gaming in general so have a great day see you in next video goodbye